TCG Orukris, which was modernized at the Ministry of National Defense Golchik Shipyard Command within the scope of the Barbaros Half-Life Modernization Project, successfully carried out its first control course in the Golchik region on 16 November 2023, following the modernization of the National Combat Management System, Advent SYS, and Electronic Sensor Systems. After the control course is completed, sea acceptance test activities will be carried out. The Ministry of National Defense of the Republic of Turkey announced the success of the first control tour in the Golchuk region with a post on its official Twitter account. With the Barbaros-class frigate Half-Life Modernization Project, the contract of which was signed in April 2018 and has been ongoing for a long time, the existing combat systems of four Barbaros-class frigates in the inventory of the Naval Forces Command were removed and replaced by a selson havelson business partnership, in accordance with the requirements of the age, with domestic and it is aimed to equip nationally developed systems. The modernization of the first of the ships to be equipped with domestic systems is planned to start in December 2021 and the ship will be put into service in 2023. With the aselson havelson business partnership, the existing Tacticos combat management system will be modernized with BSYS, a derivative of the nationally developed Genesis. Additionally, the gunfire control system developed by Armorcom will be adapted to the 127mm bow gun. Firing activities for the verification of ballistic data FCI fire control input, of the 554th's gun fire control system prototype product were carried out on the TCG Barbaros ship in recent months. The weapons and sensors existing on the platform will be replaced with weapon systems produced by the Turkish Defense Industry and integrated with BSYS. The required hardware and software will be developed, the maintenance of the systems will be facilitated, and the system can be easily adapted to other platforms with its open architecture structure. In the current configuration of the Barbaros class, the Smart S radar is positioned on the stern post, while the AWS-6 radar rotates at 60 revolutions per minute on the forward mast. In this structure, the bow post that blocks the line of sight of the Smart S may be creating a blind area in surface scanning. For this reason, it is possible that the Smart S radar will be moved to the highest place on the ship, that is, the bow mast, with modernization. A Selsun Mar D, which replaced the AWS-6 radar, will be positioned on the rear stern post. In this way, it will be ensured that Smart S has no blind areas. Mar D, presumably it will be an X-band rotating AESA radar, may have a blind area at a narrow angle in front of the bridge. This may not be of much importance because, when necessary, Smart S and AKRD radars will also produce data for Gokdenaz's fire control. Capabilities will be increased considerably with the 360-degree Piri infrared search and tracking system to be positioned on the bow mast and the Kurlanjic electro-optical system within the scope of Barbaros SYS. X-band satellite communication systems developed within the scope of the Tumsies project will also be placed on the bow mast. 